Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 40. Alright, the previous episode. The next stage of the Shaman fight has started and it has started in a pretty different way than I expected. I expected it to go in tournament format but it's technically not a tournament format. They are kind of like, you know, uh, taking part in a survival game sort of thing and uh, like you know like all of them most of them are kind of like scattered but thankfully our like you know our team like all the members that we know they're together so that's one good thing that happened and uh, we met uh, how who is probably the strongest here you know like uh, as we also saw from his backstory how he has already uh, been reincarnated and like as a member of the patch uh, village were, which he did to get his hand on one of the great spirits i think uh like you know i think that's what he called or the grand spirits uh, something like that he said uh, the fire spirit he got so like all those stuff happened we met a new character lily dada unfortunately she only like i'm guessing she's only for the, that episode because in the end she died by Hao's hand and uh yeah like he she was an interesting character i have to say like um you know like uh she had her own story and she kind of acknowledged the uh, our main characters but unfortunately how came and got her so like that's sad like 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 she was just there for one episode i guess but yeah now uh like all those things and there's this small little things that we got to know that as, as we saw like lila's actual story her backstory little bit of the patch village what it's about and how like you know uh how was involved in all of that another thing we saw was how silva had an uncanny resemblance with um how i'm not sure like the, if the previous series incarnated how i'm not sure if that has some like you know further uh like you know like some other reason for that that happening like you know that that uncanny resemblance if there's some other secret behind it but I'm sure we'll get to know in the future. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this episode. This is episode number 14 of Shaman King. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy. <sighs> well, like, it's unfortunate that he, she was only there for this episode, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, that won't happen. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah so i wonder why they're not doing anything yeah like i'm guessing they're really impartial about this whole thing like this shaman fight the higher ups i'm talking about them hmm Yeah. Hmm, true. Lucky Mountain. Oh, who is this? Oh, a new character. Oh, this is this, those, one of those. 
Oh, okay. So, yeah, he, he's, he's the one from the opening, isn't he? The green haired guy. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Uh, I think that's the one. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, yeah, there, there he is. We can also see the little pixie with him. Pixie or sharp, uh, spirit, whatever. She, she looks like a pixie. <laughs> so that means uh, only one character left to be introduced. The, the, the guy with the like afro type of hair, I think. Yeah, he, he's the only one that's left to be introduced. All right. Lysar the Avenger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, why did he? <laughs> He's so competitive, so. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <yeah>. uh. <laughs> Alright. During. During. Okay, all right. Hmm. Oh, there, there he is. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> His dress, it... Oh, from England. Morphe. That's a very difficult name. I can't remember it. <laughs> well. Well, yeah. What? You, you thought that was a girl? Yeah. <laughs> hmm, okay. Oh, okay, so it's power of... Oh, it's a power of a spirit. Okay. So he he arrived after Lila died, I think. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm smart and what? <laughs> um. All right. I guess. Okay. Calm down. Okay, well... Okay, let's see what his power actually is. How can you fight with that? 
Like, oh, you can use it as a... Oh. Oh, homing. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh. What? Whoa, what the? You broke the whole thing. <laughs> what? Yeah, he defeated like Ren. I was not expecting that, but I guess they did not know what his power actually is, so that gave him an advantage. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's what I said. Like. Okay. Hmm. Well, yeah, they need help before. What's? <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what the that's not how you make allies what the hell <laughs> oh, this is a dad. Okay, I think so. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, they look like a yeah, happy family. Oh, it's in a gate. Happy birthday. Oh, there you go. They found, found it. And I, I think something bad must have happened. Oh, boy. There you go. Oh, how also came? Oh, he came to recruit them. Oh, boy. Okay.
Oh, damn. Well, yeah, they did not know what his actual powers were. But now that he knows what his power is, like, like in front of sheer strength, it won't be able to hold itself. Like, like as he said, his, his like, uh, Lizard's power is kind of... What can I say? Like, not for fighting, I guess. I'm not sure, but... Let's see. What the? Whoa. Whoa, he has pears. Uh <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was an... Oh, okay. That was a fake one. Okay, this one seems a little bit stronger. Hmm. Oh, okay. Whoa, what's the... Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> He's literally chugging the big Ben at him. <laughs> Even though it's made of wires. Whoa! Okay. Okay, well, ah, uh, that's that's it. What gave you that idea? Weakest, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, they. <laughs> that's what I was saying, like. You know, like, I was really surprised that they lost. Yeah, true. Another enemy, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, boy. Well, he needed that. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Oh my god, this guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's rich. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, that was not what...
Yeah, like I was saying, I was thinking like he's still not got the actual thing that you wanted to make him realize. Hmm. Yeah, enemy of your enemy. <laughs> well, he came and introduced himself. <laughs> Where is Yo? Yeah. Mm, I'm sure they have some kind of past. Well, he's a detective for a reason. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, where is he? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, who the who is this? Oh, okay, okay. Miki Hitsa. Oh, okay. So she also. Okay, we. Uh, all right, let's see. True objective. Founder. Asakura how? Uh, Asakura how? Oh! Oh, uh, it took me a little bit of time to actually realize. Oh, new ending. Oh, this looks like a nice ending.
who is this girl? This new character, is it? Yeah, it's a new character, isn't it? What's it? Another shaman, I'm guessing. Or who knows? Oh my god, this, this ending is really nice. The previous ending was all, well, ending was also amazing, like. Okay, so she's a new character. I'm, I'm guessing we're going to see them her later on. Um, all right, so that was a really nice ending. Like the ending and openings of this, like, you know, uh, this show is up until now is really good. We have seen like, you know, one opening and two endings. All of them were very amazing. Like I, I really love the endings, especially, especially the previous ending and this ending as well. Like it's so nice. All right, anyways, okay. Uh, so, okay, so this episode. Now, one thing I sh like, like one thing that really caught my, what can I say, um, attention in this episode was uh, when uh, Yo was talking about the whole uh, reason that there is no like bad person inherit inherent like you know from birth like there's no person who is bad from birth like people have reasons like this is another thing that i really like you know believe myself uh that uh, there is no person who is born bad so like you know like everyone is born as a neutral person like you know not neutral um neutral or a good person uh, no, I think everyone I like I believe everyone is born as a good person not neutral a good person like people are born as good But it's circumstances and their surroundings that actually make them bad Like you know like make like make them actually develop their actual personality as they grow up like Like I, like there, there's a, a quote that I really love about uh, like uh, about this whole thing like I think that it, it was a uh, uh, saying from uh, I'm not sure if, if you guys have seen it or read it. Uh, I'm talking about Grizaya no Kajitsu uh, It's it has an anime, but the anime like holds no candle to the visual novel The visual novel is one of the best things that I've ever seen the like, anime is really mediocre in my opinion But like you know, there's a, like a saying that the main character says is that whenever a person is born they're born as a square with pointed tips and the circumstances and the surroundings good uh, like you know good parentship good manners all these good things kind of polish it and the square slowly slowly starts to lose its shape and become a perfect sphere if 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 that happens if you give proper parenting if you give proper manners like you know if you if you bring up the person as they should be they become a perfect round sphere and they become a good person in the future but due to circumstances if it's some very harsh circumstances or very cruel circumstances like you know if the if it if that person is brought up in a very bad like you know surroundings and environment the polishing is not even it becomes uneven and the square starts losing its shape and becomes a, a distorted shape that's how a person grows up and like you know in the future that distorted shape kind of like you know builds up their personality and their uh, like you know the way they are so this is this one like you know saying that I really love and I think that's what's basically it, it is here like like it's basically saying that uh, the like you know like circumstances make a person no one is born bad similar to how here as yo thinks like you know yo thinks that how is also a good person he he also had something good in him but due to some reason Something must have happened and I like wholeheartedly believe that like like no person is born bad circumstances make them bad and like uh, looking at how we can probably feel like you know I also have a little doubts in my mind even though I know like even though I myself said that no person is born bad but still looking at him it feels as if he's a bad character you know he is uh, like you know he's one of the antagonists and also the way like you know we saw his a backstory how he killed so many people and how he killed Lily Rada and a lot of other people as well it, it, it makes us feel like is this person really like you know did this person really uh, was this person really good at some point like it, it kind of feels impossible 
So, but but your beliefs in that, and I'm also sure like we're going to get to see why he is like this. Is there really some reason which which made them uh, change, which made him change, or and if, if there is, what is that reason? Must be something very, uh, what can I say, um, very heavy, which made him like you know become a person like this. Who knows? But yeah, that's that's one thing that. Excuse me, I found really interesting about this episode, like the way Yo kind of explains it. And anyways, okay, so this episode. Uh, okay, the first thing is we met, uh, what was his name? Lacerik? Just a sec. Mm, let me try to find his name. Okay, uh... All right, where is his name? Okay, here it is. Um, I'm from England. Lizerk, Dital. Lizerk. Okay, Lizerk. All right. Uh, we made a new ca uh, character here, Lizerk, and we got his backstory, little part of his backstory, why he's doing these kind of things. Now, one thing that really surprised me in the beginning is when, like, uh, like Horo Horo kind of like went, like you know, head first and got defeated like that was expected because like he he was just like you know like oh i'm going to defeat him and that's, he goes in front of everyone tries to defeat him and fails that's very like you know <laughs> like common because he just like dashed at him without even knowing what his power is like you know like he just went head head first and that's why he lost there like that was expected but i was really surprised at uh ren also losing there but I'm guessing like you know as uh, Yo kind of explained that uh, but the, he caught them off guard and in the end he kind of explains that I doubt you're stronger than any one of these people in my team you're the weakest here and I also believe that because like after his like you know his power we got to know his power um, Yo Yo completely annihilated him just like in one one or two like you know shots and that was just it so like the main thing here was the surprise factor you know like and you know one thing um i'm sure like this guy uh, had some idea of what the powers like you know uh our teammates had like you know like ren uh, horo horo and yo now there's one thing like because this whole thing is so severely connected with the way your mind is know the way your um inner balance the way your confidence is like you know if if you have like unwavering uh determination everything will go extremely well but since like you know this guy suddenly pops up and he says like he's so confident i'm gonna defeat you and he says and the others had no idea of what his power is i'm sure the determination of the people who were fighting him wavered a little bit i'm sure about that like horo even the horo came and just attacked him just like that and ren also went there must be some little um, like you know amount of doubt in their mind that okay who is this guy am i going to be able to defeat him is he strong like these kind of questions are definitely coming into like came into their mind i'm sure about that like and they like you know th this like this wavering determination impacted them and this guy this guy was confident in himself like sometimes it's like you know like i think like they say like overconfidence is bad for you but i think in this whole shaman like you know thing here i think overconfidence is actually good for you in and like you know in, in like specific situations obviously not like being overconfident every time will kind of like bite you in the ass later on but like in specific situations overconfidence is actually good for you because you're so confident yourself your determination is like solid and like this guy was like that he just came in and he was like yeah i'm gonna defeat you guys and his determination was strong solid the other guys kind of probably got a little bit confused and the determination wavered a little bit that's why he like defeated in in, in one shot now things change after that everyone got to know what his power is but still they like you know i'm sure they had a little bit of confusion as to if he's like you know hiding something or not but they have an actual gauge on his power what his power can do what it's about and that's the like you know main thing here now that they know what his power is their determination again came back 
and they were like okay like his power is like this i can probably defeat him like this and like you know that also impacted their strength and yo like the whole thing with yo was like why he was able to one shot him i think is there are two reasons for it number one as i said that he got to know what his power is at that moment that kind of gave him a boost in confidence another thing is because he hurt you know he hurt uh, his teammates like that's one thing that yo was unable to accept and that kind of pissed him off as he said like you you're trying to like you know get allies by like in this manner like i won't let you in if because you hurt my friends like this is no way to ask uh, like for a favor or something like that like he, he was pissed at that moment and that that made his determination even stronger and that was why he was able to just one shot him just like that like he was pretty pissed off <laughs> and seeing him like that i'm sure like lyser kind of faltered like you know that made his determination go down like the way his determination was so up it kind of plummeted down a little bit and that's why like he was kind of like freaking out and he like uh, like decided to use the crystal thing and but still it, it was of no use because he was scared at that moment uh, a little bit he was kind of like you know concerned at that moment and yo was all like yeah i'm going to defeat you like that's it no more questions here like it's just a like battle of determinations like now that you think about it and, and that's why like you know even though he was so weak not so weak i won't say so weak he was weaker than the, all the other characters he was able to defeat the like you know horo horo and uh, ren in the beginning that's how i interpret this i'm not sure if there's any other interpretation but like after seeing this episode that's how i interpret this whole scene like the reason why like you know they lost in the beginning like horo horo and ren and the reason why yo was able to one shot them him like this is how i interpret the whole thing uh i might be wrong but i think that's probably it and what else and also we get to see their um, uh, his back story uh, his dad and his mom about them and how he like you know decides to make a, make a good become a good shaman but unfortunately uh, how came in and defeated uh, like you know killed his mom and dad now i'm i'm guessing like he came here because he, he said something like i came to recruit them but they did not come so that's why probably he like, you know killed them like at that moment as he said like he was trying to recruit people so yeah and he had an interesting uh, power like he used like he recreated the big ben in like wire format then that was interesting but yeah uh amida maru's strength was even more like what was the name that amida style ha halo blade blade okay and that was cool that was a cool um te technique and okay and then they go to the hospital they talk about their backstory uh like our character sympathizes with him and he kind of like still gets a little bit of uh like you know he was still lost at that moment as he said that like okay like i'm sorry about this like i'll try and go defeat him myself and that's when ren says that no you're wrong like that's not what he was actually trying to tell you like you're still like you know selfishly doing this so like your enemy of your enemy is your friend so and because you said that you you're our ally you're our ally join in and yeah that was that's what happened so we gained a new um ally and it's interesting like he he's he's, he's a detective so like, he he's the first one to actually say that okay like i think something fishy is going on like how did how even like you know why did how even go for uh yo if he didn't even know who he was like technically he should have gone, went for ren because ren like you know he saw ren's power and all that stuff but yeah and uh, and then like the next section comes where yo talks about the uh, like you know good in people and like you know the reason like there's always a reason behind people's actions and how he also like does not exclude how from that he he thinks that how is also someone like that i kind of talked about it in the beginning and yeah like that's also what i think like you know reasons make a person good or bad and the circumstances they are in and there's someone who was actually spying on yo we saw that uh, but thank, like he's from one of our like you know uh, like you know 
like he's one of the good guys as far as we could see uh, it was you know this guy that guy was asked by your grandpa to keep an eye out on them and also according to his grandpa how won't go after you this early that's a relief i guess and then we see anna like uh, the grandpa says that okay anna you need to know something and here's the thing okay just a sec i need to see that portion again now is the time to unseal the door of the forbidden chamber um the founder and the greatest enemy of the asakura the great omyoji asakura how the seal to the temple of how okay um one thing we could understand from this is the how that we are seeing here is probably like as he said he's a reincarnation of uh like you know the previous uh house i guess so they're saying that this asakura how is the creator of the asakura family and the great omyoji and also the greatest enemy of them so i'm guessing he's one of those characters who like, created this whole thing like you know the asakura family but at the same time he kind of went in a bad direction went into, like what the evil path and that's why like you know his own family probably like got like you know became against him and started fighting against him something like that must have happened and after he died he like you know reincarnated again and as we saw from the back story you know he got the great fire spirit and now he's he is reincarnated again in this like you know in this era and now he's fighting like you know like now he's uh, he came in front of asakura yo now this kind of makes me think maybe yo is also somehow related to this whole thing like you know why else would how even like like you know like what i think here is how is uh fixated on yo so like why is he doing that like there must be some kind of reason uh now i think maybe i'm not sure maybe yo is also someone who is reincarnated maybe asakura how and asakura yo knew themselves in the previous lives or something i'm not sure so like that that could only explain why how is so like you know fixated on yo because if yo was someone from this era like you know if he had no other reincarnations why the hell would how even bother with him i might be wrong here you know i might be wrong here but who knows maybe maybe yo also had a reincarnation before like you know a previous incarnation and like that's why like you know and how and yo kind of knew each other or something and that's why how is so fixated on yo who knows like i'm not sure another thing uh in the end uh, like you know, when we see the sealed uh place uh asakura how is also written and there's another name here that i can see daion myoji daion myoji i'm not sure who that is but he must be probably someone important so yeah all right that was it so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to uh shaman king episode number 14 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day